XY tables are used to examine the relationship between continuous variables. Therefore, each data point you collect needs to be defined by an X and a Y value or coordinate. Often, data for this table type takes the form of an X values representing some independent variable and Y values representing some dependent variable, allowing you to perform linear or nonlinear regression to examine the relationship of the two variables. However, you may have also measured data where the terms dependent and independent don't really make much sense. Let's say you measured the height and GPA for a group of students, and you wanted to investigate a potential relationship between these two variables. Neither of these values would be dependent on the other, but the underlying relationship of the data would be that each point is defined by a continuous X and Y value, so you would still use an XY table. Looking at the structure of an XY table, you can see that it's relatively straightforward. The first column is for row titles and is optional, but can allow you to enter labels to identify specific data points. The next column is for the X values. There's only one X column per XY table, but if you choose to enter X error values from the welcome screen, this column will have two subcolumns, one for the X value and one for the error value. Each remaining column represents your Y values with the number of subcolumns depending on the number of replicates for Y that you selected on the welcome screen. Alternatively, if you choose to enter average data and error values instead of raw data for Y, the Y subcolumns will be formatted correctly to accept that form of data. It's also important to note that each XY table can have many separate data sets with Y values from each entered into their own column. Let's look at an example of working with an XY data table using a simple data set. Let's imagine that a teacher is interested in knowing how the temperature of a classroom affects test scores. Here, I have a data set showing various temperatures and resulting test scores from both an algebra class as well as an English class. You can see that within each class, there's only one test score for each temperature. So what I'm going to do is create an XY data table where X is entered as numbers and Y will be entered as a single value for each point. Once we get the data table created, we can just manually enter this data. X will be temperature. The first group will represent the algebra test scores. And the second group will represent the English test scores. We can fill the X values quickly by using a series that starts at 68 and increases by two each row. The rest of the data we'll just type in quickly. You may see that for some temperatures, there are some values missing for Y. That's okay. In an XY table, PRISM will only consider values for graphing and analysis that have both an X and a Y coordinate. Because of this, we can also enter our data slightly differently to accommodate the fact that our two sets don't have identical X values. I have a second PRISM file in which I've done this already. In this case, I simply entered X values for each set independently, making sure to keep the Y values in their appropriate columns. The X and Y values for the algebra class are grouped together, and the X and Y values for the English class are grouped together as well. In either case, PRISM sees the data the exact same way. You can verify this by looking at the graph of each PRISM file and seeing that the graph of the first data set looks identical to the graph of the second. Once your data is entered, PRISM can analyze data from XY tables in a number of different ways. The types of analyses commonly performed with XY data include linear and nonlinear regression, interpolation of X or Y values from a standard curve, determination of the area under a curve, and calculating the correlation between X and Y variables, along with many others. And here, as you can see, the number of ways that you can customize XY graphs are very extensive. You can create a multitude of different types of graphs with different appearances, allowing you to focus in on what you consider to be most important in your data.